can be inferred from the passage that compared with other costs of singing, which of the following is true of the energy costs of singing? So if we look here at answer choice A, start off with here, it says they are the single greatest cost. Now that, that to me is an extreme answer, single greatest cost. And I think, hmm, did they really say that? Well, let's go back and when they talk about the different types of costs. And if we go here from lines four through six, it says although these types of costs, and they're talking about just advertising or location or predators or forging and wrestling, these types of costs, this is line four now, may be important. Discussions of the costs of singing have generally focused on energy costs. So we're just talking about scientists' focus here when we're talking about comparing energy costs to other costs. We're not saying that they are actually the greatest cost to the individual bird, so that's out. Now it's great that we read that because in B we see they have generally received more attention from scientists. It says that. Again, word for word, it says these other types of costs may be important, but discussions of the cost of singing have generally focused on energy costs. So B matches up well. C, they vary less from one bird species to another. Now, if you look here on line number, where it says, line number six here, where it says equivocal, what does that word mean? So if something is equivocal, it's vague, it's open to interpretation. And what's open to interpretation here is whether or not or the different, I guess you could say, costs of singing for different species. And we really don't know because one scientist finds that it, there's increases in energy consumption and others find that there's really no effect whatsoever. So to say they vary less from one bird species to another is going counter to that. It seems like they may vary from one bird species to another. So C is out and the answer is B.